Life is a matter of perception. A 20-foot tube may be the perfect wave to one person. To me, it's a watery grave. But perceptions change. Mine did in Tahiti when it came to the world of professional women surfers. I always thought they had a big chip on their shoulder. Turns out I was dead wrong. Even when I've just come off the tour, I've been traveling. It's a pleasure to, to go beyond one dimension and being in a court and having lines and, and being able to come into a rhythm with the ocean. I notice a real difference in the water when I'm surfing with guys as opposed to women because the water's more filled with estrogen as opposed to testosterone because the girls just love, love to have fun. We can laugh at ourselves. That was my biggest surprise. These girls knew all about having fun. Remember that classic tomboy who lived down the street and could beat you at all the sports? And then she grew up and was a beautiful woman and could still beat you at all the sports? Meet Lane Beachley, five-time world champion. Then there's Rochelle Ballard. She stands five foot one on land, but somehow seems to expand to eight foot six in the water. The premier woman surfer in big waves is Kiala Kinley. She also has the unbelievable knack of being able to recite Caddyshack line by line. Rochelle, Lane, and Kiala are overqualified to be considered one of the boys. So in the interest of fair play, I decided I'd become one of the girls. It took me a while to explain myself. So you gotta hand it to those women who have persevered in the pro scene, you know, uh, especially, you know, women like, you know, Kiala and Rochelle and Lane, who have actually made inroads into the big wave scene, which is, a, you know, a testosterone pit if there ever was one. The sacrifices they made, it's paying off for the generation that's coming up behind them. J'aimerais bien, mais peut-être pas aller surfer. Il faut avoir une bonne condition physique. Que c'est pas une vague facile et vraiment avoir de l'expérience et peut-être appris. Shallow and razor sharp, this coral reef creates one of the most powerful waves on the planet. Legendary for its reward and its punishment. Lane Beachley almost drowned here. Kiala Kenley too. But they've come back to Chopu which in Tahitian means the end of the road. Like, even if you're scared, it just looks so nice that you just want to go. Even professional surfers, they come over here, I can see fear on their face, which is understandable, because it's, it's a really heavy wave. It's the, it's the only wave that has teeth. The ultimate ride for a surfer is to get deep inside the braking section of a wave. The deeper, the better. This is called being locked in the tube or riding the barrel. Kiala Kinley spent so much time in the barrel, she was like a clown at the rodeo. So men don't don't do what they do, and uh, wow, it's take my heart off. <laughs> I hope one day my daughter can surf like that. It's like falling in love. You know, you don't know what the feeling is until you felt it, and that's what being able to face a challenge and to live a dream and to feel the energy and to experience the beauty and to get spat out in glory. <laughs> Thanks to Lane, Rochelle, and Kiala, it's official. Tahiti is surfing paradise.